Hey there camper, welcome to our camp. Today I thought it would be a fun idea to draw our favorite knight with the shovel, Sir Bob. Would you like to try? Let's draw. All right, when I draw characters, I like to make an outline with pencil and then trace it in with the pen or a marker. So let's start with Sir Bob's head in pencil and make an outline. So first we're gonna draw a big old oval. The oval doesn't have to be perfect. We do the shoulder pads. Now we're going to move on to the arms. Just kind of swing around. Feel free to pause the video if you need some more time or rewind if you need some more time too. I'm going to make my arms go up a little bit more. I'm going to draw a big line to the bottom to make the rest of his body. Now I think it's time to add some detail. So let's start with the belt. I'm going to draw a circle somewhere in the middle of his body and some lines to make the belt. Now let's add some detail to the armor plate. We're going to draw a line straight up and another one on this side straight up. A little half circle. Now we have the armor plate. Now let's add some detail on the arms. Let's add the gloves. And some more armor on the arms. Now let's do the visor and that's more detailed than the helmet. Let's draw some circles on the side of the helmet. They don't have to be perfect. And then draw some lines kind of swooping down a little bit. And the line up here kind of swooping up a little bit. Now Sir Bob has six visor holes. Let's draw the two biggest ones in the middle. Some little ovals. Maybe some smaller ones. Another smaller one. And then now let's add the feather right on top. Awesome, now for Sir Bob, he needs a shovel, so let's add the upside down T right here. Add the handle. And now the top of the shovel. we go and now we have the outline so now it's time to color in with pen and with pen it's easy to smudge which means if we draw on pen and we put our hand over it it's going to smudge a little bit we don't want that to happen on our shirt bob so let's start from the farthest place away from our hand and then go from left to right here start with the shovel now we got the glove a little bit Finish up the shovel here. Remember, if you make a mistake, that's okay because this doesn't have to be perfect. That's just another addition that makes your knight just that much more unique. All right, now let's work on the helmet a little bit. I'm tracing the helmet, maybe tracing the feather real quick. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine too. Let's get the visors. So your Bob's visor holes are black, so you can actually color these in if you want with the pen. And the rest of the head. Let's do some of the armor. Now we're gonna move down here facing the body real quick. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause or slow down again. It's all right. Get the rest of the armor. The hand. Arm and now, good. Now it's time to color in some of the shoulder pads in the arm. So we're going to get our pencil back out again and color in the armor because that's great. So get this part right here. Be careful, try not to touch the pen too much because it might smudge a little bit. And the coloring in doesn't have to be perfect. 
We're just here to have a little bit of fun. Alright. Now let's get the visor. Be careful going around the visors because they can smudge pretty easily. Alright, now let's get a brown marker. Color in the shoulder pads. The handle of the shovel is also brown. The shoulder pads over here. Also the belt loops. Awesome. And while Sir Bob is red, you can color in your knot however you want. So let's try doing a different color. So let's start maybe the left side. It's purple. Let's do the bottom, you know, turquoise. color in that belt orange. Let's fill in that shovel with a pencil real quick. Perfect. Let's make the right side yellow. And now, the head, let's make the head blue. Doesn't have to be perfectly colored in. Every one's line is different. And lastly, let's get the feather and let's make that pink. And there we go. That's our night. You know, this night's looking pretty funky, so I think we might want to call this night Funky the Night. There we go. I hope you had fun coloring in your own night however you choose to. And remember, there's no one else who's going to color in their own night quite how you did. So there's only one night of yours in the whole world. Well, I can't wait to see what you come up with. And thank you for coming to our camp and please hurry back. I'll see you next time.